Savannah, Georgia is an incredibly special place. There are thousands of historical homes, plazas, and sites to see, all with a special story to tell. But trying to see many of these sites in one trip can be a daunting task. Come along with us as we show you some of the tour options we had the pleasure of joining. And some other tours we didn't get the chance to take, but wish we had. We give you beautiful Savannah, Georgia on tour. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a minute of Colorado Martini. One of the things I had the hardest time with was trying to pick what tours to take. There are so many different tours in Savannah. It's kind of overwhelming. Um, so really shop around, buy your tickets in advance. They sell very quick. Another thing I learned being here, it's really important to have reservations way before you ever get here. Um, especially the, the popular um, venues that are here, the popular restaurants. Um, there's one restaurant here that is so popular that it is completely booked to mid-May and that's three weeks from now. I'm here in April. Savannah is surrounded by many rivers. The Savannah River being the biggest and most active. So, what better way to see Savannah's harbor and port than to cruise on a riverboat? The Savannah Riverboat Cruise is on a replica paddle wheeler boat. They offer many different cruises from dinner cruises to brunch cruises, or just a Savannah history tour around the river. There are two paddle boats, the 600 passenger Savannah River Queen and the 550 passenger Georgia Queen. Worried about a hot summer day or a cold winter's day? Don't worry. The vessels are climate controlled year round. During your one hour cruise, the captain will tell you intriguing tales and historic facts about Savannah's modern day port and the ships that visit from all over the world. During the ride, you will find some great photos and video opportunities of Savannah's historic riverfront and skyline. Snacks and beverages are available on board. This one hour cruise is fun for children and adults alike. No visit to Savannah is complete without a riverboat cruise. So you can sit in these seats on the side or there's three decks, actually four decks. Let's see what we got up here. Oh, this is nice. Yep, so you got a nice bar here and tables up on top. So if you come a little early, you can sit here and get a good seat and relax. 
Got umbrellas to be in the shade. So this reminds me about that they're supposed to have an awesome Irish Day celebration here in Savannah. Manufacturers are supposed to get your reservations really far in advance. So I've seen pictures of where this whole area is just packed with people. It's such a celebration. So make sure that you, uh, you know, try to make that. But it's just wonderful, these views. I, I am so excited about this cruise. this entire country throughout the entirety of that war and it's where we are right now because guys imagine this not only was there Fort Jackson right here with all of its big guns but on every piece of land surrounding us where we are here more than 80 cannons were set up all trained on this section of the river and to top it all off that was nothing compared to the scariest most formidable weapon they had here at the time it was on the shoreline it's about where we are now big old ironclad sitting here called the CSS Georgia. And I'll get back to that here in just a moment. Hey folks, I just want to say at this point, thank you. Thank you guys so much for joining us out here. I think it's a beautiful day to do it. Hope you enjoyed the trip. So uh, thanks for joining us out here today, folks, and we'll be back for another shortly. The Savannah Trolley Tours are a great option for those who want to get from point A to point B. The trolley allows you to get off at any of the 15 convenient stops. Each stop is situated close to popular attractions, shops, and restaurants. At your convenience, you just reboard and it's on with the tour. Trolleys depart from all stops at least every 20 minutes. Side is today there was a bench sitting there for the longest time 
we all know who is sitting on that bench. My name's Florida Scum. People call me Florida Scum. That's right. Right where that lady's taking that picture in front of us. Right where that sign is, that is where the bench sat. The Florida Scum sat on. Where he told that lady his entire life story. Yeah, and I don't think he left out one single detail because that was one of the longest movies I've ever seen in my life. But everybody loves quote Forrest Gump. I've always said life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. That's that movie. It was right there. Now, in the center of this square, Chippewa Square. There's a, monument, there's a statue. That's a so I'm sitting on a bench in Savannah and I got stuck with this really nerdy guy next to me telling me his life story. Hi, my name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. My mom always told me life was like a box of chocolate. You just never knew what you was gonna get. So when you take this tour, make sure you sit on the right hand side of tour guide it you just see more on the right hand side also too on the trolleys you can't bring your alcoholic beverage but you can walk around the town so just make sure that you finish everything before you get back on the trolley so the trolley tour is really awesome the one thing I didn't like about it is they go fast and a lot of times you can't get pictures of the sites because you're either on the wrong side of the trolley or they just go by real quick. It's just, it's a little too quick. Slow down. Slow down a little bit. Um, Tony, he was an awesome uh, tour guide. They were all really good. But it was, it was definitely worth the money, especially getting on and off because then we don't have to walk or... Drive drunk. Drive drunk. <laughs> Not drunk. Not yet. <laughs> So make sure you pick up one of these maps. Um, it's a great map that shows you uh, the city. What's great about it is it tells you where the stops are. So when you're trying to like, let's say go to Forsyth Park, it tells you what stop to get off of. On the Ghosts and Gravestones Tour, several Brave souls board a trolley on Savannah's riverfront to experience the dark side of America's most haunted city. Our tour took us throughout Savannah's historic district, focusing on some of Savannah's most haunted sites and legends. On the way, our guide told us dark stories of the area. My favorite part of the tour was getting off and exploring the Andrew Lowe house. It has been reported that spirits inhabit the house, but I wasn't there for the spirits. It was the history I was interested in. You see, I'm a forever Girl Scout. And this house has the closest connection to the Girl Scouts and its beginnings. You see, Juliet Lowe was the founder of the Girl Scouts of America. And Andrew Lowe was Juliet's father-in-law. Juliet was born in Savannah in 1860. And at the age of 26, she married William Lowe. Juliet was known as Daisy by her friends and family. Being a Daisy in the Girl Scouts means you are at the youngest level of the organization. Her husband William died in 1905. The settlement of his estate resulted in Juliet receiving the Andrew Lowe house. It was during this time, after Juliet moved back to Savannah from the United Kingdom, that she became interested in forming a membership group of girls inspired by the Girl Guiding Association in the United Kingdom. For the last several years of her life, 
And during the early formation of the Girl Scouts, Juliet's home was the Andrew Lowe House. The carriage house was used as the Girl Scouts headquarters during the early years of the organization. Juliet died in 1927. She is buried in Laurel Grove Cemetery North in Savannah. Yearly, many Girl Scouts visit her grave and it is often adorned with daisies. So when you're in Savannah, make sure that you tour the many buildings that are associated with Juliet and the Girl Scouts and make sure that you visit her at Laurel Grove Cemetery. A carriage ride is a great way to see Savannah. There are several options to choose from, anywhere from romantic to group style carriage rides. Some are shaded and some are not, but one thing's for sure, it's an amazing way to see the city. Several of the carriage tours will take you on an informative history tour of Savannah's historic district. The guide will point out details about the city's architecture, natural beauty, and historic sites. Many of the tours last around an hour. Taking a carriage tour is a great way to see the city from a 19th century perspective. Our biggest regret was not booking at least one cemetery tour. Savannah has some of the most historic and beautiful cemeteries in the nation. Several of the cemeteries used to be plantations. Some are smack dab in the middle of Savannah's historic district. On our next trip to Savannah, we plan on booking tours of the spectacular Bonaventure Cemetery and the historic Colonial Park Cemetery. So you can take helicopter tours um, out to Hilton Head. We're that close to South Carolina and the Hilton Head area. There's all sorts of tours that you can take. Savannah can be cold and wet during the winter months. So if you are in the city during those times, try booking one of the many other options that have climate controlled buses. One thing is for sure, there are tons of tour options for everyone. So they say one of the best days to take tours and walk around Savannah is Wednesdays and Thursdays uh, because a lot of people uh, come over the weekend and they stay through Tuesday um, and take off uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, we're finding that to be true. Uh, it, when we, we got here yesterday on a Tuesday and there were a lot of people and today there's not very many people out and about on the tours and on the streets. So also you have to be careful because many museums are closed on Mondays and Tuesdays um, and so you miss out on some of the wonderful museums. Thing, another thing too is um, parking is not that great in Savannah, so doing these tours are wonderful because you can just park your car and be done. They charge us $45 a night though to park down in the riverfront at the Marriott. Um, 
Another thing is a bathroom. <laughs> Trying to find a bathroom um, is kind of hard. So when you go into restaurants and stuff, just you know, make sure you go to the powder room. Just know that you can take a traveler, as long as it's in a plastic cup, you can walk around with your alcoholic beverage.